welcome back to the channel i'm amira if it's your first time here thank you guys so much for clicking on this video let's go through your intuitive messages aqua um and you also are pulling a think cbt card which we'll get into in a minute okay so you got third house and neptune um coming out for your energy um, as I was meditating when you're in your space and I was getting like that somebody is really in their head about a choice okay so obviously we know that you're an air sign and so this is probably what you do naturally but there's something about going back and forth about this choice because you're considering how something went in the past uh, maybe something was undesirable, okay? How somebody responded or the outcome, the consequences, so on and so forth, right? We could go on and on and on, but I feel like the the indecision has everything to do with, first of all, I feel like you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, okay? Let's just call it what it is um, and be clear about that fact. Um, yeah, so it's hard to decide on something, okay? Why are my crystals all out of order? Excuse me. I just realized that belongs over there. <laughs> Messing me up. Okay, so yeah, third house. <clears throat> so this may have something to do with your siblings for some of you with this third house energy coming out. Okay, you could have a significant Pisces placement. Maybe you have Neptune in the third house, okay? Which is just going to constantly cause a clash in communication, yeah. So you're clashing in communication with somebody here, okay? But I feel like just generally speaking, you're, you're in a really apologetic or, um, I don't know, emotionally balanced energy where you're like, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings over and over again even, okay? All right. <clears throat> so you have this Think CBT card coming out, calling for you to think. He says, welcome to the unknown. Yeah. Okay, that Neptune energy we're picking up on, right? Neptune is about the dreams, spirituality, psychic world, right? Our intuition, our instincts, like looking at things from a, from the perspective of literally the unknown. Um, maybe something about that space is causing you discomfort right now. But anyway, it's hard not knowing what will happen in the future. Will I get sick? Will I fail? Will people like me? Will my parents get mad at me? But we can't predict the future. And trying to can make you worry even more. Yeah. Treat today as a chance to welcome the unknown is what the universe is saying. Okay. So this is only causing you to be more anxious, Aqua. Whatever we're talking about here, let's pull some on. Um, let's get some more, some oracles. <clears throat> Guys, this is just a general reading. Okay, keep that in mind. All right. <laughs> All right, I feel like somebody's really specific on their pronouns, or I don't know, maybe you're curious about mine. I don't know. Um, but I'm getting something about pronouns, okay? All right, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Okay. You have Divine Masculine, Electric, Active, and Power. Tenderness, yeah. <laughs> Okay, what a um, what a pairing, huh? Yeah, and then we have Twin Flames. Of course, Twin Flames is coming out. Soul Partner, Eternal Connection, yeah. So, here's the thing, right? <clears throat> you connect with somebody just as much as you conflict with them, okay, is how I want to say it. I don't know why these Cs are really prominent to me. Maybe you have a significant... Um, name that connects to your energy with the letter c okay but yeah duality at the bottom of the deck like i feel like something is really complex but it's also um yeah so you could be dealing with a capricorn here okay heavy capricorn energy is what i'm getting but divine masculine tenderness and twin flames yeah nice aqua and then you have this duality at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Aquarius, please. What's going on in the vibe? <clears throat> What's going on in the vibe? 
for Aquarius, I feel like you just don't want to mess up again. You don't want to mess something up again, okay? It's like, if I had um, a falling out with this person in the past and the universe is bringing me an opportunity to... Um, I, I'm hearing clearly and presently stated, okay? So, yeah, clearly and presently stated, Aqua. That's how you can get your point across in a way that will have you feeling like you did what you want, what you came to do. Okay, the High Priestess, yeah. Follow your intuition here. I feel like you're being guided intuitively <laughs> into the unknown, but the fears are kind of holding you back. So there's an opportunity that's present here. Death card, Four of Cups. The universe is trying to present you with a blessing from what I'm seeing, but maybe someone is a bit cautious about this opportunity. Okay, let's see what happened in the past. <clears throat> Okay, I just heard moonshine. Are you drinking? Or somebody drinks moonshine? I don't know. Okay, yeah. Okay, what happened in the past here, please? With Aqua in this situation. <clears throat> Go with the flow. Yeah, I'm hearing it's scary. Yeah, six of cups and the six of swords. Yeah, exactly. Go with the flow. You're being presented with a with a blessing here. It's undeniable. The sixes speak on harmony. They speak on balance. You are the six of swords, okay? But it's um, Mercury. <laughs> okay? Mercury is going to have you... Uh, I, I'm hearing going to bat for yourself. Yeah, that's interesting. So here's what happened in the past, Aqua. In the past, there was a situation where you had to go to bat for yourself, where you had to be the person I'm hearing in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the dynamic who was productible or productible, okay, who was productive. <laughs> I was trying to say dependable, okay, but this queen of coins energy, like you had to be the person who was loyal, who was stable, who was trustworthy, who had it figured out and this like this pentacle energy. Um, but in the same sense, there's also an energy of having to, um, fight for that okay maybe you were in your divine masculine right and you're moving into this space of tenderness this duality can also be representing you and even that space in and of itself is the unknown right but spirit is saying go with the flow here you're moving into this six energy um where you can begin to relax where you can begin to step into true love right Maybe have an eternal connection with yourself, first and foremost. All right. But that's all in the past. Yeah, see, here's this Empress energy and the Ace of Cups, the judgment. Like, you're being reborn in this space, okay? You're being given another opportunity to do this different, whatever this is for you, okay? Yeah. I just heard lights out, all right? Yeah, the tower is here. All right. That seems really... Um, yeah, I'm getting something about a, a rupture. Okay. I'm also seeing the number five. All right. Um. <clears throat> hmm. All right. What else do you want Aquarius to know, please? Okay. I'm hearing follow the transcripts and so go along go along with the transcripts like something is transcripted or transcribed okay I don't know what that means the ten of wands and the page of wands yeah it's interesting aqua because yeah all right I don't I, again I don't know what that what that energy is pertaining to I'll go deeper into it in a second but it feels like you have support here you have help here just simply use it is 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 what you're um being guided toward okay accept help <clears throat> I'm also hearing yeah are you married <laughs> okay or maybe you're considering marriage but I'm hearing through sickness and health is that what the vow is yeah the two of cups so are you worried about your health Okay, or somebody may be worried about their health here or somebody's health is suffering because of this or, um, yeah, the Hierophant. Okay, something about that is really 
significant. That's not gonna be for everybody, but I'll pull a card on it in case you need additional clarity. Okay, then I'm gonna get some general guidance and advice. Mm, or not. <laughs> okay, we might do, we might just pull from the um, love deck. Yeah, temperance. Okay, this has a this is um and the six of wands. Okay. Yeah. So Sagittarian energy. We're moving into Scorpio season now. But the Ten of Wands is the end, right? It's putting that wand down, allowing for support. Like, like I feel like somebody, like you don't have to do all that you used to do. This is basically the message here. You can be tender, you can be light, you can be in your feminine. Whether you're male or female is irrelevant. Whether you identify as this, that, or the other thing is not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the ins and outs of an individual and how those ebbs and flows work for you. I feel like you're finding a new balance in that or like now's the time to find a new balance in that. It's about maturity, evolution. It's not to say that somebody, <clears throat> let's not go there. Yeah, it's about maturity and evolution, all right? In this stage and age where you're going next, you don't have to have so much responsibility and like, um, things okay you don't have to be in this wand energy yeah that's interesting as we move into sag season like some the, maybe you're dealing with the sagittarius here like this somebody else is taking your load or like yeah all right <laughs> okay let's see aqua Whew. all right for i guess the closing message i'll say what, what's the person in aquarius is reading want to say I guess, like, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? I'm hearing fight the power, like this song, okay? <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. This person's a little hyped up or, I don't know, what's up with them? This person in Aqua's reading, thanks. You deserve better than me. Wow. Okay. Why are they coming in like this? Romantic feelings. Falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotions. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was pretending to be someone else. Okay. This person is um, afraid. Okay. They're coming in with an energy of fear. Um, let's see what else. <clears throat> I feel like they're just, they're afraid of how they feel about you. Just like plainly put, whoever this is, okay, and whoever I'm reading for. What else? How's this person coming in, please? And not was reading. Regret, yeah. Okay, so for some of you, this may literally be somebody who's coming back around, okay? When I say second chance, it could be I was around this person in the past, didn't work out, or I was with this person in the past, didn't work out, maybe a past life, or just in general. <clears throat> somebody is saying, um, here's another opportunity, okay, at this similar situation. Something about that for both of you like <laughs> reeks moon card energy though right maybe you guys have the same moon sign or you're just connected in that way or this first quarter moon um as we shift through <laughs> pisces energy while i'm reading is just really connecting the two of you here right um but yeah regret and heartbreak all right yeah this person, whoever this is, Aqua, like, they want you, but they're just afraid. Let's pull some tarot on them. Just one card as we go out. <laughs> I'm hearing, remember that time? Okay, so they have a significant memory of you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords, there you are. They're talking about you, okay? Remember that time, Aqua? It's a secret, whatever it is, or not a lot of people know about it. It's something that you did they're talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the chariot. Interesting. 
maybe a vacation you guys went on. It doesn't have to be a secret, but yeah, here's this moon energy again. Okay, this could be a Cancer you're dealing with. Yeah, or a Capricorn, Cancer Capricorn, um, North Node, South Node. I'm going to leave it there. I'll have you guys to see you next time.